So, face to face again. I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. How many lives depend on this disk? Hundreds? Thousands? Perhaps billions. <clears throat> You are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. <laughs> you are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. <laughs> he died with his brother in this city. <laughs> you don't even belong here, Crane. You don't know what suffering is. <laughs> <laughs> I will teach you, Crane. You will suffer alongside me. Go! You want me to make my own rules? Rule number one, you're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in fucking agony. Do not leave me like this, Kren. Prove you are a man. God. Take your vengeance. Will you just shut the fuck up? There's at least a chance that Haran might live. And I will make your death painless. Or resist. And do this city along with you. You have until the count of five. One. Two. All right, all right. Here. to tell you to go fuck yourself, but why don't we just pretend for a minute that you don't think I'm stupid? You need the cure. It's here, in the city, somewhere. And as long as it is, you won't try to pull any ministry-style bullshit. Crane, why do you even give a fuck what happens to these people? You don't belong here. This is just a job for you. No, not anymore, it's not. I'll be in touch when I've decided what to do next. Can you hear me? It's Camden. 
Yeah, Doc, I hear you. What's going on? The analysis just finished on the tissue samples. The results are... Well, I don't think the word phenomenal is too strong. Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Hey, we'll talk about it next time I see you.